little bit of a quick review of the last week's topic which was izhar halaqi let me make this frame big uh, but before that let me get my pen so that I don't have to reduce the screen again I'm gonna make the screen big here we go and more big there we go okay so now these are rules of noon second and tanween and these are the different shapes of noon sakin uh, as it appears in the mushaf let me get my pen okay um just give me one second i'm going to my tablet is a little bit battery is a little bit weak but it should be okay now inshallah here we go okay so so these are the different shapes of noon Um, sorry about that I don't know why this thing is not really responding very much very well uh, just uh, give me one second I'm just gonna restart that app one second I'll restart it again okay yeah here we go okay so these are the different shapes of noon as they appear now this noon can be inside a word as well or um, full noon okay now this would be the scenario of idhar halaqi and this would be the scenario of ikhfa and this would be the scenario of iqlab so we already did idhar halaqi before that means whenever noon sakin or tanween um, let me just scroll this up slightly um, here we go so here are the shapes of the tanween tanween what is tanween tanween are three types fathatain kasratain dhammatain and these shapes are for idhar halaqi that is equal sign but slanted so slanted equal sign would be fathatain or kasratain if it is under the letter or below I mean somewhere you know on the lower side and the matan appears like this a comma like this and an inverted comma like that this is idhar halaqi situation what is idhar halaqi idhar halaqi is when you make the noon sound clear you do not stretch the gunna you do not stretch the nasal sound okay Today, inshallah, we are going to do, well, we'll start with iqlab, it's a, it's a short one, then inshallah, we'll move on to idgham. So, uh, actually, idgham seems to be the next one, but we will do iqlab first. So, iqlab is a short one, let us do that first. Here we go. So, iqlab means to turn over iqlab letters are or only only one letter iqlab letter is just ba so if noon sakin or tanween is followed by the letter ba then you have the situation of iqlab so the way of pronunciation is if a noon sakin or tanween is followed by ba it is converted into a hidden meme okay with separating between the lips now this is a little bit of a let's say specialization um, this is a suggestion but many of the Qura um, also they close the lips tightly as well um, which, which is also considered to be correct okay so when you 
um, when you do the iqlab I will explain to you then one just one just a few seconds that you can either keep your lips completely closed or you can have a separation between the lips of paper paper width paper width that that much open so the lips will be open maybe this much like this okay this much width even less but it sort of shows that there is a um, there is a meme but sort of hidden and that hidden part you do it by separating the lips but even if you close the lips it's good enough so let's move on and look at the example here the example of noon with noon sakin so obviously we'll have the example with noon sakin and we'll have the example or examples with tanween so there are two examples here the first one as we spoke before see that noon sakin appears with a little meme on top so whenever the ba follows noon sakin we will convert the sound into meme because also we realize that the makhraj of meme and ba is the same what's the difference between the makh makhraj of meme and makhraj of ba what is the difference the difference is only one the nasal sound in both scenarios the lips are closed okay but for meme the nasal cavity is open and for ba the nasal cavity is closed this one is closed for ba is closed for meme is open that's the main difference between meme and ba otherwise the point of articulation uh, the lips are completely closed now whenever ikhfa happens and um, uh, sorry um, iqlab happens as far as noon sakin and tanween are concerned and the rules of meme sakin also when ba follows we call it ikhfa shafawi here from the sound point of view it's equivalent because you have meme followed by a ba again you have the noon sakin but it's converted because of ba into a hidden meme so again you have meme followed by a ba so as far as rules of meme sakin are concerned it's called ikhfa shafawi as far as rules of noon sakin and tanween is concerned it is called iqlab phonetically both of them are the same from sound point of view okay so how do we recite this so we can recite it like this if i were to recite the two words separately then i will say min ba'di min ba'di but we are reciting them together so we will say mim ba'di and we have to stretch the gunna stretch the gunna two beats okay here it is and the reader should make gunna for two beats so how do we do this again mim ba'di mim ba'di now if we apply this here separating between lips then this is how it's going to sound and now what i'm going to do i'm going to open my lips like paper width paper width so this is how it's going to sound mim ba'di mim ba'di and if i close my lips completely it will be mim ba'di okay both of them are accepted okay but you will see many of the qurra 
uh, even Sheikh Khalil Mahmoud Al Husari, Sheikh Hudayfi, Sheikh Hudayfi very clearly does that. Uh, when I didn't know about this way back when, and I was listening to Sheikh Hudayfi, and I said, Subhanallah, I noticed something that it he's not really doing mimbadi, but it seems to be like little, uh, you know, hidden meme in there. And then I asked the knowledgeable people, and then they said, yes, there is a separating of lips, a separating between lips, paper width. So this is when I learned it, that's how I learned it. So I practice that all the time. Mimbadi. Okay, let's move on to this one. But if you close the lips completely, it's also okay. Next one. So, this is how we are going to read. So, first of all, we realize that here you have noon, second, right here. And you have a ba right after it. So, ba follows noon second and because ba follows noon second there is a hidden meme sound right there and this is exactly what they're saying that there is a hidden meme so ba is converted into a hidden meme this ba is converted into a hidden meme and how do we do do this now how do we read this and if you tightly close your lips فَأَمْبَتْنَا okay. Generally, the, the Qaris of uh, Indo-Pak subcontinent, they would um, close their lips, okay, more or less tightly. So they would say, فَأَمْبَتْنَا But many of the Arab Qurra, they will open their, or separate their lips, paper width, and they will say, فَأَمْبَتْنَا All right. Let's move on to Tanween. Examples on Tanween here. So where is the Tanween? Tanween is right here. What type of Tanween is it? Tanween Fathatain. Followed by letter Ba. So again, you know that Ain Ain Fathatain. Remember I said that whenever you have Fathatain, Unless there's an exception, let me just uh, draw it nicely. Unless there is an exception, whenever you have fathatain, it's followed by an alif. Because if you actually are going to stop, then it will turn into a mud. When we'll do the mudud, you will see why that alif is written and how it changes into a mud. But for now, we disregard this alif for now, this, uh, this alif madiya. And we will just consider the Fathatain. So, Ain Fathatain. But, because there is a Ba right after, so, what they do is, this is how they represent the Fathatain. With an, the top one replaced with a meme. So, if I were to just uh, do it again, they would just write like this. And that's what it is. Am. So if you read this, Am. And then you have the bar right here. And this one also you can uh, well, equate it or equivalence it like this. So this is where the noon sakin is. Noon sakin and tanween. That's why you get the noon sakin and tanween rules together. It doesn't matter whether it is noon sakin or tanween. It is phonetically the same ending sound is of noon so when we are reading them together we will read it like this this one we we stretch because of noon with a tajdeed. And we have already done the rules of noon with a tajdeed before. This one we stretch the nasal sound two beats. Here also we stretch the nasal sound two beats. Okay. 
Um, whenever you have the gunas, and there's a gunna here, there's a gunna here, stretching of nasal sound, stretching of nasal sound. But there is a lot of people, what, what they would do is they would, as they go, suppose there was another one here, suppose there was another one here. So they start degrading and they, 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 they don't do, the, for example, they do two here, they would do, let's say, one and three quarters here, they will do one and a half here, they will do like one and quarter here. So you start, the, the, the duration of the gunna starts to degrade. So a good qari is not going to do that, or a person who is meticulous is not going to do that. He is going to maintain the two here, and the two here, and the two here, and the two here, as go, as it goes. So protect the integrity of the of the of the gunnas, of the mudud, integrity of the letters, uh, everything, and this is what is uh, what is important. That's what you need to be meticulous about. Okay, the next example. So this is yawma i din. Again, you have the dal, either din or din. Doesn't matter. Phonetically, they're both the same. Yawma idhin bi jahannam. So here is your tanween. Tanween kasratain. And here is your ba. Ba following tanween. We are going to have iqlab. And when you have iqlab, again, there is a hidden meme in there. So the tanween kasratain is written with like this. Right here. So how are we going to read? We're not going to read Yawma Idin Bi Jahannam. And you must have actually heard a lot of people, especially Arabs, they do it. Uh, they, they will just read like this. Yawma Idin Bi Jahannam because they need to still um, learn that particular rule. Okay. So the rule of Iqlab needs to be applied. So how do we have to read this? Like this. Yawma idhin bi jahannam Yawma idhin bi jahannam Two harakat, nasal sound. Okay? There you go. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for Iqlab. Um, if you have any questions, you can always uh, ask. You can always maybe send it on, on Skype. Uh, inshallah, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me tawfiq, I will put a little little chat box, but I'm just afraid that some people start abusing the chat box. That's why I didn't put the chat box in there. Otherwise, uh, when we, we used to use Skype, um, then pe you know people would start chatting with each other. To start start missing the whole point, you know. So you're not supposed to chat with with each other. You're supposed to focus on what is being taught. But inshallah, um, um, I guess we are going to trust you guys because you um, hopefully are more mature. So unless it's a very very important questions question, do not um, put it in the chat box. Inshallah, hopefully by next uh, week I will put that chat box in. So if you have a very important question, you can put it up. No problem, inshallah. Because it seems like the recording, people are not too uh, comfortable with it. Okay, so we've done iqlab, inshallah. Let us look at let us look at some of the examples of iqlab. Okay, and on the page that we read. So I go to I go to the mushaf. Um, as soon as it, yeah, it has loaded. Let me make it big. And uh, I went through it and I pointed out at least a couple of lines. Maybe you can point out more. Let's go through here. So there was one I found on line number six. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six here. And there, right in the beginning. Here we go. So, this is Iqlab with respect to Noon Sakin. So, what they did is to represent the Iqlab, to, to represent the hidden meme, they put that little superscript meme here. 
So what is this here? Min, two words, min, ba'di. But when you put them together, this hidden meme is going to come into play. And we are going to read this and extend this nasal sound of this meme here, hidden meme. Two beats, two beats. Mim ba'di. So if I were to read from here. Thumma tawallaytum min ba'di thalik. Min ba'di. So I'm, 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 as I told you before, that I practice the opening of the lips as per the tajweed note. So you will try to do that. But some people actually overdo it. They open their mouth too much. Supposed to be paper. Paper with which is pretty thin. Very thin. So that's what we have to practice. Okay. All right. There's another one I found. On line number 13, I'm going to take this away and move down. 13 would be two lines above the last. So this will be 15, 14, 13 here. There you go. This one is with respect to a tanween. Okay, so where is it? Okay, here's the tanween. And this tanween is tanween dhammatain. So tanween dhammatain, when in, in, in a club situation, the other one, the one that would have gone this way or the other way is replaced by a, a meme. There you go. So, what are the two words here that are affected? These two words. Awanun bayina. So, when we are going to join the two together, read them in continuum, then we will say, Awanun bayina dhalik. So this is where we do iqlab with respect to tanween here. The first one was with, was with respect to noon, uh, noon, or uh, was noon sakin. Uh, sorry, noon, uh, yeah, it was noon sakin. And here, because it's tanween, the ending obviously is of course noon sakin. So all tanweens. The ending is the sound of a noon sakin. Noon. So this would be again noon, dhamma, noon, noon, noon. All right. Here we go. Back to the tajweed notes. So I think we have done the topic of or subtopic of iqlab. Back to Tajweed notes here. So, Iqlab is done. If there are any questions, please you can send them to me on my Skype account. I think most of you have it. If not, you can always phone me and uh, or text me and I will send it to you, inshallah. Let's do Idram now. Uh, where is it? So, Idhar Halaki, we finished. Iqlab, we finished. And Idham. Okay, that's why I was wondering why did I say Iqlab? Because Iqlab is indeed the next topic here. However, when it is listed out here, in this list, Iqlab appears the third one. So, I was just wondering that why did I mention Iqlab? The next, because it appears as the next subchapter anyways. All right. Alhamdulillah, we did that. Move on to Idram. So, what does Idram mean? Idram is assimilation or to mix or to put one thing into another. It is the mixing or entering of a sakin letter into a mutaharrik letter, which follows the second letter, so that they become a single Mushaddad letter. 
okay so idham letters are six what are they yarmaloon what is yarmaloon ya ra meem lam wow noon so if any one of these six letters appear right after noon second or tanween then you will have a situation of idgham then you will have to um, then you will have to do this you will have to mix or put one thing into another or the enter the second letter into the mutaharrik letter let's see how that is done moving down there is a note here saying the noon sakin or tanween and the idgham letter have to be in two different words otherwise the reader is not supposed to do idgham okay this is important in this case it will be izhar mutlaq and this case can be found only in four words these four words here okay what are these four words so now i mean if you strictly look according to the definition up here let me just take this out if you look at this definition here yarmalu whenever noon sakin or or tanween is followed by any one of the ya ra mim la wa noon you have idgham so if you look here this word there is a noon sakin okay and followed by a wow so you should have idgham right according to that different definition that we saw before but these are the exceptions so we do not do the idgham in this case we will do izhar otherwise this this will be read siwanun which is going to be pretty funny as well or qiwanun or buyanun or duniya is going to be pretty funny so we don't do that the exception is we read it like this sin wanun although there is a idgham letter following noon sakin here there is an idgham letter following noon sakin here there is an idgham letter following noon sakin here and there is an idgham letter ya following noon sakin here but we do not follow the the procedure that we saw in the previous definition there we will make izhar known as izhar mutlaq sinwanun qinwanun bunyanun ad-dunya so we will um, pronounce the noon clearly without extending the nasal sound just treat it like izhar okay here we go move on so types of idgham first of all there are there are two types of idghams okay idgham with ghunna and idgham without ghunna okay like this so this is the second type the first type here bi ghunna or bila ghunna the first type idgham with ghunna idgham bi ghunna and second type idgham bila ghunna without ghunna these are the two types now when does bi ghunna happen and when does without ghunna happen okay idgham bi ghunna happens whenever any one of these four out of the six so what are the six letters ya yarmalun ya ra mim lam oops sorry 
lam wow noon yarma noon six letters out of these we take four letters out the first one this one and then this one and then this one and then this one and we make a word out of them this one yan mu ya noon mim wow yan mu okay so these four letters if they are present any one of these letters if they are present right after noon sakin or tanween we will have idham with gunna nasal sound if the noon sakin or tanween is followed by any one of these four letters the reader should make idham with gunna for two beats the nasal sound again will be stretched for two beats okay how do we pronounce it okay skip the noon or tanween and pronounce gunna with the following letter of for two beats we do it like this the first example where is noon sakin here is noon sakin falan and then followed by a noon so noon is one of the yanmu letters this will be idgham bi gunna we will stretch the nasal sound for two harakat so how are we going to do this falan nazidakum again falan nazidakum all right and this one here two words faman ya'mal here is your noon sakin and followed by a ya and ya is one of the yan mu letters ya noon mim wa yan mu so again you we will have idgham bi gunna here idgham with stretching of the nasal sound so we are going to recite this like this fa may ya mal فَمَنْ يَعْمَلُ All right. Next example. مِنْ مَسَدْ Two words. When we read them together in continuum, then here is your noon sakin, followed by a meem. And meem again is one of the yan mu letters. So how are we going to read this now? Mim masad, not min masad. Mim masad. Mim masad. The so noon got assimilated with into mim. In this one, here is your noon sakin, and here is your wow. Wow following noon sakin. And wow is a one of the yan mu letters, so therefore we will have idgham, and idgham what type? Bi gunna, with gunna, stretching the nasal sound. So therefore, how are we going to recite this one now? Wow, after noon sakin, min not min wara ihim, but mu, mu, mu wara ihim. Okay, this mud here, five harakat. So I'm just doing five harakat mud here. Mu wara ihim. Like this. So these are the situations of idgham bi gunna. And they are all with respect to noon sakin. Now these are, these examples are with respect to the tanween. Let's look at them. Here, your, here are your two words, and remember again, going back to this definition here or this exception here, that the noon sakin or the tanween and the idgham letter have to be in two different words. This is very important, and that's what we have seen so far. 
that the noon sakin is in one word and the letter of idgham is in the following word so they must be in two different words that's why we are looking at two two words if they are in the same word then you have this idhar mutlaq condition okay so examples on tanween the first one again two words Barudan Wala. But we don't read it like that when we read them in continuum. So how are we going to do it? Again, Dal Fathatain. Remember, there's an alif here. This alif is not used unless you're actually stopping. Then this changes into Dal Alif Fatha Da total mat. So then equivalent then again it's effectively noon sakin the ending sound is of noon sakin so you have in this case wow which is again one of the yan mu letters yan mu letters ya noon mim wow and which is again a subset of ya. Oh, let me just write the word. Whoa. Ya ra mim lam wow noon yarmaloon. Okay. So ya, the first one, noon, mim, and wow. Leaving Lam and Ra out. That is the next group of letters. Next, or is again subgroup, two groups. One group Yan Mu, and the other one would be Ra and Lam. We'll do that this right after, without Gunna in this um, uh, sub chapter here. All right. How are we going to do this one? How are we going to recite this one? Bar down, bar down, wala. So two harakat nasal sound. Bar down, wala. Okay, next one. Two words again. Jaza and min. When we put them together. Jaza Amin Jaza Amin Okay, that's how Idgham is going to happen and we will get the nasal sound of two harakat, two beats. Next one, two words again. Qulubun Yawma Idin Okay, so when we are reading in, a, in continuum, then Okay, the next one. What is the tanween? Right here, tanween. Kasratain, followed by a noon. Again, a yanmu letter. Right here. So, two words, Yawma Idin and Naima. When we put them together, Yawma Idin Naima. Yawma Idin Naima. There we go. So, that's how we will be doing Idram Bi Ghunna. Idram with Ghunna. Meaning it gone with the nasal sound stretched. All right. Next subgroup here is idgham without gunna. The letters for the idgham without gunna are ra and lam. If the noon sakin or tanween is followed by any one of these two letters, there is no gunna while making the idgham. So we will not make any nasal sound at all. 
the nasal sound of that noon sakin is going to go away. The way of pronunciation is skip the noon or the tanween and pronounce ra or lam without gunna, without the nasal sound. Let me move this up a bit. Okay, so examples with noon sakin. We have examples with noon sakin and we have examples with tanween. So let's look at the examples with noon sakin here. All right. Where is noon sakin? Right here. Okay, followed by an idgham letter, but this is a letter belonging to the group or subgroup ra and lam. And these are coming out of yer maloon. That's the major group here. The other subgroup, which we already did, uh, which causes the gunna to happen, is ya, noon, meem, wa, yan, mu. So these, uh, si these six letters, we can break them down into two subgroups here. Yan, mu, and ra, and lam. With yan, mu, idgham, bi, gunna. With ra, and lam, idgham, bila, gunna. So, how are we going to read this? An Rabbihim? No. Ar Rabbihim. So this noon is gone. Noon is gone. There's no nasal sound at all. And effectively what we are doing, let me just take all of these away. So effectively what we are doing, we are going from Ain, we are going straight into Ra. And we are joining with the Ra here. Ar. Ar. As if this noon doesn't exist at all. We just skip it. Arrabbihim. Okay. A lot of uh, people have this habit of sneaking that little. Because as soon as they see the noon, second, they sneak it in. Like Arrabbihim, which is wrong. Big X. Then you are not doing it wrong. Bila gunna. Bila means without. No gunna at all. Without. So don't sneak that gunna in. It's not, it won't be correct. So all what we do is we go straight and we skip the noon uh, sound all together and we go and join with the ra. Arr. So it's like basically like going like this. Arr. Arr rabbi him. Arr rabbi him. Arr rabbi him. Next word. Again. Noon second. Okay, what are the two words? La in lam. But we are not going to read it. La in lam, no good. We will say. So as we as we just discussed, this noon is going to go away. Lam will go and join with this lam directly. Okay, non-stop flight from here to here. I'm uh, sorry. This little Hamza, I missed the Hamza. Hamza joins with the Lam. La illam. This Hamza, this micro Hamza down here, but this is a, this is a Hamza there. So if I take out everything, you'll be able to see clearly. Here's the noon second, and here's the Hamza right in between. So if I write this big. And then here, and then here. La. E. And then you have the lam, and then the meme. Okay, this noon is going to go away. It's going to go away. And this Hamza is going to uh, let's use the same pen. Is going to go and join with the Lam here. La il lam, la il lam, la il lam. Okay. All right. The next one with Tanween. How are we going to do this? The two words 
ذكر للعالمين ذكر للعالمين we don't do that we are going to again skip the noon sound and this raw is going to go straight into lam and we will say it ذكر للعالمين ذكر للعالمين this is the correct way of doing it next one here is your tanween dhammatain again and you have in this case was lam in this case is the ra so we will not say la raufun rahim that will be wrong the nasal sound is going to go away. We will say, La ra'u fur, fur, not fun, fur. La ra'u fur rahim. And that's, that is what is bila gunna, no gunna, no nasal sound. Don't, ste don't sneak that nasal sound in. A lot of people do that out of habit. But then you're not doing, uh, you know, uh, technically then you're wrong. Because you're not doing, uh, or you're not doing away with the gunna sound. Bila gunna. La ra'u fur, fur rahim. La ra'u fur rahim. Okay, there you go. So, we have done idhar halaki, idgham, and iqlab. So, let us uh, go and uh, look at them. Uh, in the Mus'haf. We have uh, we have only 15 minutes to look at it and then we will recite the page right after. Let's go to the Mus'haf. Okay. And we will uh, we will start let me just make this big so that we can it's easier for us to work with okay here we go okay now it's pretty big okay let's start from here uh, what page is this this is page okay 10 all right we already recited this so we are going to look at now three rules we will look at idhar halaki we will look at Iqlab and we will look at idgham, three rules and we will identify them as we go. So from here, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. I will recite and as soon as we hit one of them, we will identify. إن الذين آمنوا والذين هادوا والنصارى والصابئين من آمن. So here you, uh, is your. What is this? It is إظهار حلقي. Huh? So you have noon sakin and noon sakin followed by a throat letter. Hamza is a throat letter from the bottom most part of the throat. Ah. Men, amen. Ah, so what do we do in idhar halaki? We do not stretch the nasal sound. We make the noon sound clear and short. Men, amen. Ah, like that. Okay, continue. من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر وعمل صالحا. We didn't do this rule, so I'm not going to stop here. That's the next rule we are going to do. It's going to be إخفاء here, but because we didn't do it, so I'm not going to highlight this. We are just identifying the ones that we have done already. وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ 
So now you have tanween followed by a throat letter. So you have izhar halaki again, similar to that, but with tanween. Wala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahsanun. وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِثَاقَكُمْ وَرَفَعْنَا فَوْقَكُمُ الطُّورَ خُذُوا مَا آتَيْنَاكُمْ بِقُوَّةِ وَاذْكُرُوا مَا فِيهِ لَعَلْ Did I? Oh yeah. Here you go. So I have someone here helping me. Your auntie, she just told me you skipped one, and I did, right here. So you have kasratain, followed by a wow. And we are going to have idham bighunna. And wow belongs to yanmu. So idham bighunna. Biquwatin wazqa. كُرُوا مَا فِيهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ ثُمَّ تَوَلَّيْتُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ So we hit a iqlab situation. Noon second followed by a ba. Here we are going to stretch the nasal sound and, and uh, highlight the hidden meme. Right here, we can open our mouth paper width. Yeah, that's true. I should have done different colors, maybe uh, because it's a club. So, let me do let me, let me do this with the different color here. I can do this with a, it's a blue color here. Okay, um, there we go. Um, so this was Idhar Halaki, Idhar Halaki, and this one was Idham, and this is Iqlab. Okay, so let me pick another color then. Um, I guess, I guess this one, and this would be for Idham. Idham would be the brown color. There. So idham, wa. Brown for idham. We have actually ran out of the page anyway, so uh, let's just remember it. Idhar halaki. What is this color here? Pink. And idham, yellow. And iqlab, blue. Okay, we're almost out of the page now. We need to scroll the page. Okay. مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَلَوْلَا فَضُّ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ لَكُنْتُمْ I need to scroll now. مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ I want to scroll all those markings. Are not going to match, so I'm going to take them out. Okay, and we move. Let's see. Okay. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمُ الَّذِينَ اعْتَدَوْا مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبْتِ فَقُلْنَا لَهُمْ كُونُوا قِرَدَةً خَاسِئِينَ so I guess the uh, Izhar Halaki was the pink one, right? Here we go. Oops. So we do not stretch the nasal sound. Okay, so here is your um, Idgham. Idgham was going to be yellow, right? Idgham, but this is what type of Idgham? You have a lamb after tanween. So idgham bilagunna. Nakalallima. 
Again another one. Mawidatan lil. So you have a lam after tanween. Tanween fathatain idram bila gunna. We don't make gunna. Mawidatan lil muttaqin. Wa idh qala Musa li qawmihi in إن الله يأمركم أن تذبحوا بقرة قالوا أتتخذنا هزوا قال أعوذ بالله أن أكون Here you go So here is your إظهار حلقي أن أكون Noon second, followed by a throat letter. An akuna min al jahilin. Qalu d'u lana rabbaka yubayyil lana. Now you have idham bila gunna. One more time. So what do you have? Yubayyin lana. Noon second, followed by lam. So here is your. إِدْغَامْ بِلَا غُنَّا يُبَيِّلْ لَنَا So noon is skipped all together. Ya goes and joins with this lamb. يُبَيِّلْ لَنَا مَا هِي قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةُ اللَّا MashaAllah, we are coming across lots of إِدْغَامْ بِلَا غُنَّاس Again, you have Tanween, Dommatain, followed by a lamb. Idram, Bila Ghunna again, you have a lamb. So it's not Baqaratun La, no. It's Baqaratun La Faridun. Now again you have Idram, but Bi Ghunna. Because you have a wow. So we're going to do how? A nasal sound for two harakat. فارض ولا بكر. Now what did we come across? We came across. We came across what? إظهار حلقي. بكر. So you have تنوين followed by a throat letter عين. بكر عوان. You got another تنوين but you have a ba. So you have a ba, so what do we have, iqlab? Did we make a color for iqlab? What was it? I think iqlab was, yeah, the blue one. Here is your blue. So, again, from the beginning. Back from the beginning of the line. بَقَرَةُ اللَّا فَارِضُونَ وَلَا بِكْرٌ عَوَانٌ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ فَفْعَلُوا مَا تُؤْمَرُونَ Okay, just a little bit left. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّلْ لَنَا مَا لَوْنُهَا قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَا Did I miss one? Ah, I did miss. Okay, there you go. So you have noon second and you have a lamb. So I missed one and let's mark it up. There you go. See, this is like, this is like uh, riding a bike. So if you, once you have learned to ride the bike, then, you know, you don't, uh, you don't look at the, the pedals. You know, you just look in front and you just go. You're not worried about falling. You're not. It's like like driving a standard car. So when you're learning, well, all everything, all your four limbs, both hands, both feet, 
are are engaged in all different things right hand on the gear shift left hand on the steering right foot on the gas pedal and the left foot is used for the clutch obviously alternating but once you get used to it you then you don't think about it and that's what happens you just keep on reciting oh yes i missed one okay yeah because we're trying to identify but once you are used to it you're not even going to think it will come naturally that's what i i meant okay so rabbaka yubayyin so not yubayyin lana but yubayyin lana ma launuha qala innahu yaqulu in Again, you have Tanween followed by a lamb. So, not Faqi'un Launuha, no. Faqi'un Launuha Tasurun Nawirin. Okay, there you go. So, we've done the whole page. Okay, we still have a little bit more time, so um, we can do some some more of these, inshallah, for the next page. Then this is the page we are going to recite now, page number eleven. Um, all right, we can do a little bit more. We can look at the rules that we have already done as well. So let's try to uh, identify all the rules that we have done so let me just go back first of all and look at the rules that we have already done the read notes let me go back to page the the table of contents and there from there we're going to pick up uh, all the rules that we did okay so we've done noon mushaddad and mim mushaddad qalqala so we will identify all of these um, heavy and rounded letters, but this is more of a letter specific. Perhaps we're going to leave that for now. Uh, lamb in the exalted. Okay, well, let's do this one as well. Uh, ruling of raw, we can do this, but because it's letter based, so we just for now we skip that for now. Okay, and we will do the rules of noon, second, and tanweed. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, that's what we will do. So we'll do noon, mim, noon mushaddad and mim mushaddad. We'll identify the qalqalas, and we will um, the, we will do the lam, lamul jalala, lamul jalala, and we will do the noon sakin and tanween rules except for ikhfa. So let's go back to the um, yep, no sorry, not this one, mushaf. Okay, let me select the complete page. All right. So let's start from the beginning and start identifying. It's very important. The so once you can identify, then you know you. This is where you're actually learning, okay? And this is where you're actually you know improving in your knowledge. That you know basically knowing why you are reading what you're reading, knowing all the rules like a like a like a medical doctor when they learn okay they have they have you know like a whatever the the anatomy of uh, different uh, you know parts of the body and then if you ever saw um, old uh, drawings of uh, the human uh, organs anatomy and there's like millions or well, I'm just exaggerating like thousands of names given to different parts of that particular organ so it's very, very important in any science, you need to identify, you need to name things and identify those things with those names. Other, otherwise, you don't know it. Then you don't know it. So how, how do you refer? In order, to, in order to refer to something, you need to know it by its name. Or in order to refer to a situation, you need to know the name that has been given to that particular situation. It's important. So the terminology is very important. 
so don't complain let's learn if you have the will you will learn okay from this one قَالُوا دَعُوا Okay. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّلْ لَنَا مَا هِي So now, I guess, let's start marking them. I'm just going to use one color. But we will, uh, we will name them. So, we said we will identify qalqala so this is where qalqala happens qalqala that is a qalqala letter so we are going to recite or uh, uh, recite it with qalqala qalu du lana rabbaka yubayyin lana so you have noon sakin followed by a lam idgham bila hunna يُبَيِّلْ لَنَا مَا هِيَ إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ عَلَيْنَا And you have here نُون مُشَدَّد What happens when you have نُون مُشَدَّد or ميم مُشَدَّد? You stretch the nasal sound. إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ تَشَابَهَ Alayna. One more thing. Here's your noon, noon mushaddad again. Stretching the noon. But here I wanted to point out that whenever you have a lean situation. See this one? Lean. What is lean? Whenever wow sakin or ya sakin are preceded by a letter with a whatever letter. I'm just drawing a rectangle here. With a fatha, whatever letter having a fatha. This one is called lean, lean situation. And this wow in this case will be wow layina and ya layina. Okay, lean. So, how do we do it? Whenever you have ya. The ending, so in a lean situation, lam, ya, fatha, not le. A lot of people will read this like this. Alena, alena. That's wrong. The ending sound in the lean situation, in this one, should be, this is, I'm sorry, this is uh, not Hamza, this is a sukun. Sukun, like this. Ending sound is going to be e. In case of wow, ending sound is going to be Ooh, ooh. So, a layna, not lena. Lena, wrong. A layna. Tashabaha alayna wa inna insha Allahu la muhtadun. Qala in. Ah, here is your noon, mushaddad, stretching the nasal sound, but here is your lam. So, lam of Allah is known as lamul jalala, preceded by a fatha. So, if lamul jalala, lam of Allah, is preceded by a letter with a fatha or a dhamma, then we are going to recite this lam of Allah, mufakham, Rounded, heavy, full mouth. All these definitions. Mufakham. Lam will be rounded. So how are we going to do it? Insha Allah. Allah. Make sure that Hamza is done flat. Just because we are going to round this lam, do not round the Hamza. A lot of people do that. Insha Allah. Allah. Oh. Oh. Hamza Fatha is not oh. Hamza Fatha is a. Ah. So you need to preserve that. Insha Allah. 
don't round it you don't need to excessively flatten it like Allah no but don't round it just because a rounded letter or a mufakham letter is going to follow Tanween followed by Alam Idwam Bila Gunna Bakaratulla the Lulun to see rule Arda to see rule Arda Walla Teskil Hartha Musalamatulla Shiatafiha Kalul Anaji Tabil Hak. Oh, be careful also one more request I have whenever you have kasras like this one here okay a lot of people they would do the kasra will be like a and dhamma will be like O, and this is actually very frustrating okay to a tajwi teacher with kasra everything should go E anything with kasra E sound anything with dhamma U sound U so jita not jita jita bil haqq fadabahuha wa ma kadu yaf'alun okay now inshallah we will stop here uh, we, yeah, we will stop I mean like marking up Okay, just uh, one more thing I was, um, your auntie is pointing out that we should also highlight the Qalqala here. Now, Qalqala, remember, there is three levels of Qalqala. Let's do this before we um, stop the marking and, and go to the uh, recitation of this page. There is the Qalqala, let's say the strongest here. So, strongest... Uh, Let's, I will just say one, two, three. So three is the strongest. And then two would be the little less strong and one will be the least strong. Whenever Kalkala letter appears in the middle of the word, okay, is sakin and appears in the middle of the word, we will do it with, I mean, we will do the Kalkala sound, but it will be the weakest form of it. Then, if the Qalqala letter appears at the end, well, meaning where you're stopping, if it is right there, where you stop, then, uh, for example, if you were to stop here, okay, then Jim will become Sakin and Jim is a Qalqala letter. So how will we say? Mukhrij. If this, if there was no shadda here, we will say bil haq, bil. But is this qaf has it a shadda? So we will make the strongest here, because there is a shadda. We will say bil haq. This is the strongest. If there is a shadda on a kalkala letter, and if there is no shadda but a sukun, and this one actually becomes sakin. So this one, the dhammatain will go away. If you were to stop, and it will become. Sakin Mukhrij. Okay. Uh, the, oh, sorry. Is there some other word I can look at? Maybe. Yeah, so yeah, we already looked at this. This this is a Kalkala right here. But I was trying to see if there is a word that would be similar to this where we when we stop the last letter goes second and we have to make Kalkala on it. Um, no, I can't find one right right away. No, I don't want to spend too much time. But one more comment before we go. A lot of people when they stop let's say here 
they will make call on dot dot is not a call color letter so you will have to stop dead like for example la dalulun tuthirul ard you know make call color but you can make you should make istitala stretching the dot makhraj istitala is called istitala stretching the makhraj of dot one and a half to one and three quarters harakat all right let's stop marking here and let us read the page because only about five minutes left let's read the page a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem qalu du'u lana rabbaka yubayyil lana ma hiya in البقرة شابها علينا وإنا إن شاء الله لمهتدون قال إنه يقول إن إنها بقرة لا ذلول تثير الأرض ولا تسقي الحرث مسلمة لا شية فيها قالوا الآن جئت بالحق فَذَبَحُوهَا وَمَا كَادُوا يَفْعَلُونَ وَإِذْ قَتَلْتُمْ نَفْسًا فَادَّارَأْتُمْ فِيهَا وَاللَّهُ مُخْرِجٌ ما كنتم تكتمون فقل نضربوه ببعضها كذلك يحيي الله الموتى ويريكم آياته لعلكم تعقلون ثم قست قلوبكم من بعد ذلك فهي كالحجارة أو أشد قسوة وإن من الحجارة لما يتفجر منه الأنهار وإن منها لما يشقق فيخرج منه الماء وإن منها لما يهبط من خشية الله وما الله بغافل عما تعملون أفتطمعون أن يؤمنوا لكم وقد كان فريق منهم يسمعون كلام الله يسمعون كلام الله ثم يحرفونه من بعد ما عقلوه وهم يعلمون وإذا لقوا الذين آمنوا قالوا آمنا وإذا خلا بعضهم إلى بعض 
وَإِذَا خَلَا بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ قَالُوا أَتُحَدِّثُونَهُمْ بِمَا فَتَحَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ لِيُحَاجُّوكُمْ بِهِ لِيُحَاجُّوكُمْ بِهِ عِنْدَ رَبِّكُمْ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ So inshallah next week we will start with um, Ikhfa The last uh, sub rule of noon sakin and tanween we'll start with ikhfa which is uh, pretty big actually so that's why i wanted to save it for the last and um, then inshallah we will proceed with the topic that follows after it may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this give us sincerity and help us learn the rules of tajweed and recite the quran for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we learn tajweed again reminder so that we can recite the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly and we only recite it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me first of all and all of us this tawfiq. Ameen. Subhanallahi wa bihamdih. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastawfiruk wa natubu ilayk.